This A-level IB biology video is all about the phosphorus cycle. Now, like the nitrogen cycle and the carbon cycle, the phosphorus cycle is all about how different forms of phosphorus are transitioned within the environment. Although it's a cycle and there is no real beginning, I think a good place to start is by stating that certain rocks contain high levels of phosphate and that these phosphates can be released into the soil and water via chemical weathering. Phosphates are released into soil and water by chemical weathering. Now lots of different organisms require these phosphates, but how do they enter the food chain? Well, as always, it's with the producers, the autotrophs. It's the plants which absorb the phosphates via their root hairs from the soil. And because these phosphates are moving from an area of low concentration to high concentration, that's going to occur by active transport. Now, why do the plants need phosphates? Well, they need it to build important molecules such as DNA and also ATP, which remember is that universal energy currency. And that ATP, remember, is released in respiration. Now, as with the nitrogen and carbon cycle, the phosphorus in those plants will get transferred to animals further up the food chain by the process of feeding. And those consumers need phosphorus again for DNA and ATP, as well as building cell membranes as they're present in phospholipids. So how is the phosphorus inside these consumers and producers returned to the ground? Well, that's by the action of decomposers. And that obviously occurs once the plants and animals die. Now, the crucial difference between this and the nitrogen and carbon cycles is that there is no gaseous component. It does not involve the atmosphere. So with the carbon cycle, we know that respiration released carbon dioxide. With the nitrogen cycle, we know that denitrifying bacteria converted nitrates to nitrogen gas and released that into the air. There is no gaseous component within the phosphorus cycle, and that's why turnover here is so much lower than the other cycles. So the rate of turnover is much slower than the nitrogen and carbon cycle. And therefore the rate of replenishment is extremely slow too. And that's because you only get phosphates added back to the soil, either through chemical weathering of rocks containing phosphates or the action of decomposers. And this is actually a real problem with the phosphate cycle. We're finding that the soils are running out of phosphates. They're not getting replenished. Obviously, they're incredibly important to help plants and animals grow. So we've got a real situation on our hands here.